So I've been building this house in The Sims, where I haven't been using any cheats, that's no move objects and no tool mod. And honestly it's been such a challenge, but we are finally on part 3 and we are finishing this build. So here's our little house, she is so cute. If you missed the other two videos, I will quickly just show you what we did if you don't want to go and look at those videos. So here is our floor plan. We have our main living space, our kitchen area. There's a little fireplace. We have a main bedroom with a computer, an ensuite bathroom, an extra bathroom, and of course the kids' bedroom. Now we probably could have added an extra like bedroom with the amount of bathroom space <laughs> that we used in this build but i don't care i love bathrooms and i think they deserve their own bathroom you know i'm gonna start off here so firstly what i want to do is i want to turn this into like an outside fireplace area as well so i am going to actually bring in some half walls Kind of like this. We will get the right height in a second. And then I'm going to come in with a beautiful fireplace. I think it's going to look so cute. This is a really weird spot for it, but I really don't care. Oh, this would have been perfect. And you? <gasps> okay, you are two tiles. It's a little bit weird having it like off the wall. But if we actually drop the half walls... Let's say up to here, because if we drop it one lower, it's a little bit too low. It goes like under that part. And that's also not... Wait, maybe we should try that. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. I'm going to bring up the platform. We just lost our <laughs> fireplace. It went away, but we will get it back in a second. I am going to do that, and then we can just come in with this. And I think it's going to look really cute. Let's get our fireplace back. Oh my word, it won't let me place it there. Oh. Because of the platforms, I can't, I can't place this. This would have been perfect. What is this? At what height did it remove it? Oh, it's like basically in the beginning. Okay, this is insane. Okay, we can't do that. So let's get rid of you. I'm gonna go for plan B, <laughs> which is just building our own. We need a chimney. We'll just go for you. That's kind of the right height. I'm fine with that. And then uh, let's paint. I'm gonna go for the same fireplace that we used downstairs. Now it is kind of in a corner, so it is a little bit weird, but I don't know, I just thought it would be cute. So we can't place the hot up here, because again, foundations. Foundations are just so glitchy in this game, it's... it's insane. But I kind of like this here. Now I think what we can do is, if this is gonna work, <laughs> let's put this up on a platform. So yeah, putting it on a platform I think really helps. We can then also go with this color. I wanted to put half walls around it and make the entire thing blend in, but I think this light wood actually works. We also have this one. Yeah, I think I should go for this. This looks actually a lot nicer. Then coming in with some dream home decorator, we can build this beautiful like wall sofa. So I think this little area here is perfect for a bar. We can use the same material as what we used for our hot tub and that will just <laughs> blend in perfectly. I also think that we have counters that came with us. We can have like a rounded corner piece there. And bring this... Oh, that cannot go there. Okay, so we can close off the side. It's kind of by the stairs, so it's a little bit weird. But I kind of like it as well. Let's get a table and let's see how this place will look at the end of this. Am I going a little bit too white? Should I change some colors? Maybe like go with... I mean this green is actually really cute. I think I'm gonna do that. We can have this table be the color that it is. 
And then we can bring in some green stools. We can just line this up all around here. I'm only going to do it up to there. Because I don't want to block the staircase. Or maybe we should do this and kind of remove one there. That looks kind of cute. I think that would still be accessible. I think we need to place this really big plant here. And that will just bring the entire thing together. She's looking stunning. I would like to place this maybe there. I think it's kind of impractical. Having something like that on the outside, especially on your balcony, it will probably blow away. But I do think this looks really cute. I might just go in with like the drink tray. The summer drink tray. We can place that there. We can put you kind of at an angle. I love these tiny little stone side tables. They are so beautiful. We can't get one there. Platforms, platforms, why are you like this? But maybe we can get a beautiful lamp. Where's a nice outdoors lamp that we can place there? It's kind of cute. We can have that lamp there. I think that's kind of nice. And then on this little side table, we can maybe put a small little plant. And maybe we can have a beautiful plant then here in this corner as well. Or should we maybe put it on... Yeah, I think we place it on that platform. I think that looks really cute. I also think that is all that I'm going to do up here. Maybe we can put like a radio in that corner. Wait, I'll do that. Then we can have some music up here as well. I'm gonna go with this little radio because it kind of looks like <laughs> they brought it up. I can't twirl it. Oh, it has to be... Ooh, okay. So I need to choose a position. <laughs> Why why are you like this? Why couldn't you just be turned around? Like, that would look so much cuter. But no, they have to block the sound. So I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, I don't like this thing. Never mind. Take backsies. I'll go with this. We can have a little bit of an Alexa moment, which means we can place it over there. I think that looks nice. But we have lemons. Oh my god, we've got lemons. Y'all, I cannot find those lemons. I am scrolling and scrolling. I've been through so many clutter things now. And uh, it's probably just because I can't see it. I'm telling you now, I'm going to go into my editing mode and I am going to see it. As I edit it, I'm going to see it. And then I'm going to kick myself. It happens so many times. Oh my god, I found it. <laughs> Ridiculous. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I actually like scroll past here and I really could not get it. But I'm going to place some lemons there. I think it's cute. It's in the sun. But that's fine. We also need a mailbox and I think I'm just gonna go with the snowy escape mailbox. We can place it right there. It's got a cute little color that got... I think the white actually blends in a little bit better. So we can place the white there. And I wonder if we can have a nice little pot plant right next to the door. So we can place this plant here. I tried to put the cluster of them together, but they can't because it kind of interferes with the mailbox. But maybe we can just come in with like two of them or kind of put them on separately. We can maybe place one here and then that one just one up. I kind of like that. I think this looks cute. Y'all, does this look weird? It's not touching the wall. But I can't have it touch the wall because then it's not like equal with my door. And if I have it go this way, that's kind of counterproductive as well. But I really want something here. I would scale it down, because if we could scale it down, we could place two next to each other. But then also we need to have move objects on. So that's not really worth it. We've got this lighter color. Even this color. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I kind of like it. I feel like we need some extra detail there. Unfortunately, I would have it, <laughs> like, touch. But I don't think that's gonna happen. So we, we work with what we got. But while we are here, I would like to place... <gasps> you don't fit? Oh, you don't fit either. Why can nothing go on here? 
Is it because of the platform? Because we can't have plants. I went through everything and I kind of like this. I know we don't have a roofing anywhere else, but I do actually think that it just adds a little bit of a something that we need it. Because the walls itself, it's very square. It's very, very, very square. And we need to... Yeah, we just need some extra detail. I was planning on putting plants everywhere, but they can't, unfortunately. Like, nowhere. I can place them a little bit higher, but they look really weird. I also can't place any, like, bushes or anything against the wall just because of the platforms that we are using. So, unfortunately, all of that is out. And it's fine. We work with what we got. And unfortunately, we ain't got that. So, I think we need to place some stairs. Yeah, we can just place the half walls kind of like that. I'm hoping that I can put a plant underneath that window. I am not sure. I'm really not sure. At this point, anything can go or not go. We will see. Okay, it looks like something can go there. Where are those beautiful yellow flowers? Maybe if I go in with something like that. It still adds a little bit of the green that I wanted. Now, maybe not completely, but it's there and it works. It's, it's getting there. Starting to like it. Everything has to be like a little bit away from from the wall so let's utilize that let's make use of it we can go in with maybe something like this bring that in we can kind of pull this all the way around the house so that we don't have to worry about actually placing plants there the planters that we have that's kind of the best thing that we could do and maybe Maybe, maybe, okay, okay, okay. I've got an idea, I've got an idea. Let's bring you all the way through and kind of make this entire area here plants. I like that. Now we can just go in with some plants. I actually like this a lot more because that kind of hides the staircase, which was a big eyesore. Okay, everything is really starting to work in our favor. It's coming along. It's coming along. I think by doing that, I'm actually just going to bring this all the way around. We can go in with then some more lavender. Turn them around a bit. And because we did that, we are able to actually place this. Because now it's high enough. Maybe I just need to place like a tiny one there. We can on this side. Because I think I... Should I bring it this? No. I'm not going to put it all around. That is just going to be a little bit overkill. But I do think I should just drag it all the way through there. I might incorporate some of this flower as well. Because I think that's actually really cute. You can maybe do that. Do like a mixture of that. Oh, no, that doesn't fit there. Okay, that's fine. We can maybe place another tiny one there. At least these plants layer actually really nicely. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go in with some extra colors. I might bring this one then a little bit more up. And this one can even go a little bit higher. Yeah, it layers really good, and then we can go in with some different colors, make all of that blend into the house and not look so monotonous, and I think that's fine. That's actually more than enough. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that. I think it's starting to look like something. Let's also move this lot up, then maybe place some trees all down this line here what trees are we gonna go for oh i kind of like these ones these ones are really tall 
And that also gives us a little bit of privacy from the little park and like camping area that we have there. Then here, let's go in with some lower half walls. We can make these kind of like planters as well. That gives us a nice little space to work with. It also gives us some privacy. And then we also don't actually have to use fencing. So we don't really have any fencing that goes with our wall coloring. So I think by doing this is kind of the best route that we can take. Are we going to actually close this? Yeah, maybe. I think that's actually really cute. I think this place is going to look adorable. Let's remove this and then just raise the platforms. I'm using the lavender here as well, just because it honestly just, it's the best one that fits. This and then the wild grass, but I don't want to just do the wild grass. I want to come in with a lot of flowers. So even though this might seem like a little bit mundane and you might be thinking, why are you just doing this? That's kind of my reasoning for. I tried putting in little yellow flowers, but I really didn't like the way that it looked. So yeah, that's why we're going with lavender like absolutely everywhere. I am going to go in here with just one of those tiny little bushes and I think it looks really cute. I think it really works. We can just flip some of them every now and then, put them in just a little bit of a different direction. And this space here just lends itself perfectly now for a pool. But before we start with our pool, I want to come in with the fountain tool. I want to kind of put like a fountain around where the pool is going to be. So I'm going to place our fountain here. Kind of something like this. I hope this is going to work. Let's come in with the pool now. We can go in with the fountain tool. And kind of just make these little details then. Something like this. For the trim I'm just going to go for this like light stone. I then think we just finish this entire thing off with this absolutely beautiful terrain paint. It's like a type of a brick, but it's got that beautiful little bit of a green color in, so it's going to blend in perfectly with what we are doing with our pool. Then here we can just go in with some jet water emitting, but I wanna get the, no, not the dome. I want to get the jets. These are always so difficult. Kind of something like that. And then we can... Or maybe just another extra one. And then we can go in with like the taller one. Large jet water. So then we can just go ahead and we can just place the larger one. All around and fill up this entire spot. Just went ahead and I just moved some things around. I'm still looking for the... Small... I think it's probably just this, just the jet emitter. So yeah, we've got that. I think that is all that I'm going to do with the pool. I would then like to just have some planters maybe, and like a beautiful outdoor sitting area. Maybe we should just go in with some loungers. So I'm going to place our loungers there. We can maybe even go in with some umbrellas behind them. Um, umbrella. Maybe just one umbrella. We can get that in like a beautiful yellow tone. We have some planters here. Perfect for some skill building. I'm going to finish this backyard off with placing this reused fountain. With some beautiful plants in them just to bring in that extra color. This color is just, but it's so soft and it works so well. I couldn't get a plant to go into that corner. Platforms, so we just went with some plants there. I think this looks cute, it's more than enough. We just need to place maybe like a tree here with some flowers around it. I want a nice little pathway that's going to go here so we can quickly go and do that. 
I'm gonna start this off by then getting uh, this terrain paint out. I kinda want the road to go like this. We can maybe even have a path that goes here. Maybe we can have like the wishing fountain there. So that's kind of nice. We can go in with... Well, lower the opacity firstly. And then of course just get out this like darker gravel. Make everything kind of just blend in a little bit better. So that it doesn't look so formulated and neat. And we can just do the same here. Let's just get you again and kind of just make you a little bit sharper. We ha can have a beautiful large tree. We have that one with the lights on, this one. I really didn't like that tree, but I do like the wishing well. So we are keeping the wishing well. I'm gonna finish this build off literally by just placing this tree here. I think this tree works a lot better. We did need a tree here at front. I wish that we got these trees in the game actually like since team. Come on. Those trees are so beautiful. They would have worked so perfectly and they are absolutely everywhere. But I did try to put some extra planters and things around the house. It just wasn't working. I really didn't like it, which is really weird because that is truly something that I just tend to do and I tend to love that. But yeah, it just didn't work with this house and I'm completely fine with it. I feel like this home just looks a lot better with less because there is still so much actually going on around it. Oh, I went a little bit too dark there, but we do need to blend this place in so i'm gonna just go around place some of this dirt so that it doesn't look like this place is literally just floating on nothing y'all i'm going to upload this to the gallery but i really <laughs> wish that we could choose our own gallery photos just look at how ugly this looks who is gonna download this by just seeing this on the gallery i wouldn't it looks so basic all of these photos, <laughs> they do this build no justice whatsoever. I feel so robbed. But let's call this Greek family. Thank you so much for joining me on this little build journey. I learned a lot from this. Going into this challenge again, I feel like I will be a lot more comfortable. I know what to expect and what not to expect. The biggest thing is do not use platforms. And if you use platforms, I need to make sure that platforms are like too high. Otherwise you can't place anything. Platforms are broken. And I'm not blaming the Sims team for this. It was implemented afterwards. And it still looks good. It is functional. It just takes away some building options. So with that being said, I will have a playlist linked down below with all of the videos in this build series if you want to go and watch it. But thank you and goodbye. <laughs>